all of you. A few months ago I presented you the ninth update video about a new transformable Digimon figure series of Bandai Tamashi Nations named Joshinka Tamashi Series respectively Digivolving Spirit Series which was mainly about the detailed update about the 06 Joshinka Tamashi Tendomon Adlock Kabuterimon figure. And I promise to keep you updated on other news about this topic. So now it's time for another info update video because they launched for a bit longer time ago already now a new detailed update because the next release of the Joshinka Tamashi figure series is soon in the starting blocks. And therefore there are again some exciting news from the official promotion page about this Bandai Tamashi Nations figure series and a bunch of more exciting infos to report. So welcome back to the now 10th update video. Choshinga Tamashi 07 will be surprisingly Padamon, Holy Angelmon or respectively Magna Angelmon for us. However, I still prefer the Japanese original names because they just fit better. And so I will call him Holy Angelmon later on. Surprisingly because the only clue I personally saw for Padamon Holy Angelmon was in this who is the next picture, which as you can see is still the same as before. Well, Padamon was on it with the others, but since the silhouette of Gilmon's form was next to the now officially made Tendomon at this time and they had already shown the finish, finished colored Dukemon form at some events along with the official made characters, many of you, including me, already had it speculated that the Zero Seven maybe could be Gilmon Dukemon. Now they have taught us a better and the Zero Seven will be Padamon Holy Angelmon. Personally, I think it's good that according to Diablomon and Alphamon, we are back to the initial announcements to re realize all the highest evolution levels of Digimon Adventure Zero One as promised. Thus, only three of them are missing. There was, however, a live stream about Digimon's 20th anniversary on YouTube on the 29th of July with information about what else they have planned further for it. With musical inserts about the new Digivices plus Digimon toys etc. Well, they also invited this young man among others again who revealed other secrets about how far they are in the development in the Joshinga Tamashi series. There it was probably officially revealed for the first time that the seventh release will be Padamon Holy Angelmon. Unfortunately the live stream was again without English subtitles. Also as you can see Padamon Holy Angelmon was officially shown in a new display, probably on a station of the Tamashi World Tour. But now enough talked about the bush and we coming quickly to the main topic of this information video about the detailed update of Padamon Holy Angelmon. You can also find this awesome teaser banner for Padamon Holy Angelmon, but I did not saw it on the official promotion page before the detailed update once again. The structure of the page with the information on the individual points and the listed points themselves is and are almost the same again as by the other previously advertised Joshinka Tamashi figures. So I will try again to make everything as short as possible and I will again make some comments to the points with my own thoughts that come to my mind. Of course, this time the usual information was fitted 
to the Padamon Holy Angelmon figure. And now we start. As you can see, at the very top we have, as it is usual, the promotion title image, which this time got a beautiful matching design for Padamon Holy Angelmon. And like I think, this time again, it got very well chosen and designed for the presentation of both. In any case, it is strongly reminiscent of the design of the promotion title image of Tailmon's Angelmon's update. Because even Padamon Holy Angelmon have been beautifully staged again in a sort of their own galaxy floating, surrounded by Holy Angelmon's swirling feathers. Since both forms had not been shown up, Neither someone posted pictures before, also the first impression of the implementation of both evolution forms is simply just wow! Tough if we have a look to the first CG rendered planning image of him again, now the look of the real figure now is very close to it. And honestly, Holy Angelmon's form is better than I expected and frankly a lot better than the implementation of Tailmon and Angelomon. Angelomon's wing design leaves still something to be desired and Tailmon is somewhat blocky due to the transformation ability. But I think that was not possible otherwise due to the upright standing of Tailmon's form. And so the two were more difficult to implement than Padamon Holy Angelmon. For Padamon's rather elongated barrel shape, basket shape provides logically invisible more. Excuse me, please. For Padamon's rather elongated barrel shape, basket shape that provides logically and visibly more room for a near-perfect and more accurate depiction of Holy Angelmon's wings. As a result of the Tailmon having a rather upright body, it could not be done any differently and not as perfectly like they could do it on Padamon Holy Angelmon. I think they designed Padamon Holy Angelmon in a similar way as they designed the Chushinga series figure of Padamon to Angelmon back then. Padamon's shell was also completely split and unfolded and the inner parts of Padamon's shell parts were worked out in such a way as to represent Angelmon's wings from the front and folded up. So I think here on the new one it may will be designed similar, just better and on a whole new and higher level, of course. Honestly, it is hard to believe that Holy Angelmon is in shell form or at least from this perspective from the front and as far as you can judge it from now. Only along the back of the thighs and till the boot shafts is a large part of Padamon's shell quite obviously visible, which cannot cover up. But yes, everything must be fixed somewhere and it looks in this area as similar to Angel Woman. Probably there will be something bigger shell kibble on the back of his shell too. But otherwise, you have to say that the rest of the shell parts of Padamon was used perfectly for good effect for the representation of the four wing pearls for Holy Angelmon's form. Also thanks to many folding joints in my opinion. You can see only on the upper two pearls of wings of Holy Angelmon from the front something of Padamon's orange wings shimmering through. But you really have to say that the implementation achieves a much more natural and almost perfect effect that convinces to the full. And of course, in general, the immense wealth of worked out details and features of 
Holy Angel Mons form simply leaves you open mouth with enthusiasm. And also Paramon's form seems very successful design. It's very, very, very cute and does not look boxy at all and does not seem as stiff as Telemon, thanks to the fact that you can even spread Paramon's legs away from his body a bit. As you can see under this wonderful promotion, promotion title image, we have again the information for the reservation of the figure that started in Japan on Wednesday the 1st of August. And again the suggested retail price of 7,776 yen. That's about 70 and 76 US dollars. So that Paramon Holy Angel Mon's price would be identical to the 10 suggested price for Gabumon Metal Garumon and also identical to the proposed price, price for Tendomon Atla Caputarimon. Personally, I would also rate that as very positive and relatively cheap because I would have honestly expected Alphamon's high price with significantly more. Because I think that engineer technic technically much more thoughts has flowed into the development of this figure again. And it was also much harder to create Padamon Holy Angelmon because there is not necessarily an old figure at least not in this form for the reverence for the creation of the new one existing because as you will know for sure and I had previously mentioned it at that time the Choshinga series figure digivolved from Padamon's form to Angelmon's form. Underneath they have ne newly added a link that leads to the General Tamashi webpage. There we can read more information about the in Japan soon upcoming Super Evolution Soul 06 Tendomon Atla Caputarimon figure. However, these and the information of the former official promotion update about Tendomon Atla Caputarimon are very similar. If you scroll down, you will see among other well known images this cool new promotion image. And below that we find the actual destination of the link. As you can see, you can download and print the background images of the evolution scene of Warcraymon and Atla Caputarimon for the two Choshinga Tamashi figures to use them for the display of your own figures, which they provided and you can download here as a PDF file. It really works and that they have provided that, that, that for us, I think that is just absolutely super of those people. Incidentally, Warcraymon's evolution background image is that of the so-called complete memory set, which features the translucent Warcraymon figure and the lighting up base. Underneath, as you can see, are the different colored update buttons with which you can switch between the different advertised figures and to which they added an 8th new button for the update of Padamon Holy Angelmon. Below these update buttons there is a video. Very sadly I cannot tell you what this video is about because when I want to play it there is always the information that they not provided it in my country. Which is a pity, but since it's going to be a long shot, it's not just going to be such a cool animated promotion video for Padamon Holy Angelmon, as they had created back then for their first Agumon Warcraymon figure. Below this video there is the window for the campaign for Dorumon Alphamon, for which you can sign up again to get the chance to get the Dorumon Alphamon figure sent to your home to review it then on your YouTube channel or in your blog etc. So long as if you win this campaign. It's certainly the same as there 
were before such campaigns for the other figures. In any case, I think that because nothing has been translated into English, I suspect that anyway, only the information for the registration for this campaign is in English. But anyway, this is uninteresting for us because anyway, only people who live in Japan can apply for it. So, let's get back to the main topic, Padamon Holy Angelmon and the planned date for its official release, which is scheduled for December 2018. Below that, we have the first point of the detailed update for Padamon Holy Angelmon, which, as always, is the Digivolving, and as you can see, this time it got not accompanied with by such a typical transformation image. And the information text says following. Following the nostalgia of evolution from Padamon, released in the past Super Evolution series, Holy Angelmon, the seventh bullet, evolved from the evolutionary form of Angelmon at that time. The upper evolutionary form of Angelmon. It is a complete body Holy Angelmon, which is a new design and design carried out. It is possible to enjoy the pose which image the time of flight by the movement of eight beautiful feathers. Completion of the ultimate deformed figure that you can enjoy the proportion of dynamic and divine holy angelmon that cannot be imaged from the lovely lovely Padamon. Those texts are strange as always and because of this I will repeat that with my own words again as I understand it because I think I understood what they meant to say but it's very it's a pretty mess and they written a lot of it very twisted tough they actually meant it the other way around and so the text would be following way to follow the nostalgia of the evolution of Padamon, which has been published in the past on the, the Super Evolution series and which could digivolve from Padamon's form to Angelmon, Angelmon's form. Holy Angelmon, the seventh bullet, evolved at this time in the anime from the evolution form of Angelmon. Holy Angelmon is a completely new molded body or respectively a new molded figure. Holy Angelmon is a new design and a design that has been developed further. I think this is an allusion to the design of the old transformable Angelmon or perhaps to the other transformable figure Magna Angelmon to Seraphimon compared to the new, but no matter, and I continue with the text. It is possible to, excuse me please, have to drink something. So yeah, we going on. It is possible to enjoy the pose as it flies, which can be represented by the movement of eight beautiful wings. Completing the ultimate transform figure where you can enjoy the portion of dynamic and divine holy angelmon that you cannot imagine from the lovely, lovely Padamon. I think these statements you can only agree, as I described earlier in my short prejudgment. Also, holy angelmon's form is more reminiscent of such a Tamashi. S dot H dot figure arts figure with a sharp edge design then a transformable figure and is and it is from Holy Angelman's form from the front hardly to believe that it should be a shell formal. You really have to be right, at least in my opinion. So we would have arrived at the next point in the update, the materials. 
and to this point they wrote following. The Super Evolution Soul series can also enjoy the texture when taken in hand. In addition to the entire chest parts, waist belt also used die cast parts for feet and right arm sword. The clear parts are used for the head, shoulder and sword, expressing a beautiful silhouette. As always, interesting to know which parts exactly, exactly are made of metal on this new figure. Okay, but if the entire chest part should have been made of die cast about this, it can be argued, because that's more of a level suit as a kind of complete armor. The two breastplates Excuse me, the two chest plates and the belt buckle would have been enough, but why not? Think it was just easier the other way. Guess the golden ring on the right wrist where they added the sword on could be made of metal too, but let's surprise ourselves. Had Ford rather that the complete boots and not only the feet parts would be made out of die cast. That would have made more sense because they really look like heavy knight boots. But wait and see, maybe the boots are also completely made of metal and not just the feet parts because they originally wrote toe instead of foot part in their text. But I called it feet parts simply because you do not even see toes, but you know what I want to say. Where well, the purple colored transparent parts are, you can see her clearly anyway, they are where they belong and should be. Okay then. The point proportions does not exist this time as well as in Tendermons at Lokabuterimons update and so we would be at the third and last point, the details. To which they written following. The Super Evolution Spirit series condenses adherence to the molding modeling of details. Regarding the reproduction of the beautiful character design of Holy Angelmon, it expresses even a fine feather mold. Also reproduce the hidden part provably. Engrave the emblem of the forehead on the head part faithfully reproduce the setting up the, perf the perfection. I think that you can fully agree with these statements again because as I mentioned earlier the modeling of details is just a as breathtaking and as you would wish. In this text it is emphasized again how well the original wing design and the reproduction of the feathers true to the character design could be reproduced despite the fact that the figure is transformable. And that they have even worked out the crest symbol of hope on the forehead of Holy Angelmon is just great, although you do not even see this on the original character under his helmet. And I think that you can only fold up the helmet on the figure due to the kind of the transformation system. Below these two pictures we have the link to the official product page of Tamashi for Padamon Holy Angelmon. And underneath a new very nice promotion picture where you, as you can see, have beautifully staged Holy Angelmon together with Angel Woman. Excuse me, please. And in the smaller image section, he's been pictured in Padamon's evolution form along with the other characters from Adventure Zero One in their rookie shapes and Tailmon. That would be the end of the main theme of this video. However, I would like to inform about other things that were also subject of the set livestream because I think that this information is also, are also very interesting. 
And because it's so nice, we'll stay with the topic Digivolving Spirits figures or Joshinka Tamashi figures. Because our young man here has revealed more things about the state of development of our characters. So he showed this planning image of a remake of the old Digivolving Impmon Bilsemon Blast Mode figure of Tamers, which Tamashi most likely took into account to develop under the Joshinka Tamashi series. Well, who of you would not have thought that already because they even already showed Dukemon officially, even tough, they have not made Dukemon official to my knowledge until now. Furthermore, there are a few insights of the colored Digivolving Spirits Piomon Garudamon prototype figure in Piomon's form as well as in Garudamon's form. With which I really hope that this prototype does not yet embody the final design of the official end product and it will be revised a little better and hopefully they will not end up as simple with Garudamon's wing design as it is with Wargreymon's wing design and like the prototype now shows it up. Because that looks too cheap and simple for today's possible standards and the wings are just simply Piermon's splitted and unfolded head halves. But in, but in this first CG image of the plant figure that looked so simple too and I'm almost afraid that this could be the final design tough. Maybe it was not possible otherwise. Well, we will see it. In addition to the new Digivice version and mentioned Terramon's new life-size plush toy, this livestream also officially announced that this new GEM series figure of Angel Woman should coming out. This figure will also be released like the other two previously presented Warcraymon and Metal Garurmon figures under the title of Precious GM Series and her exact official name is Digimon Adventure Precious GM Series Angel Woman Holy Error Version. And of course the pictures speak for themselves why they call her Holy Error Version. I praise the makers of Mega House GM series lately in my judgment of my figure review videos that Mega House took in account to making other Digimon characters as figures that never before existed in such a form, unlike Bandai, Tamashi likes to make other versions and repaints of previously released characters and release them as complete new figures. It now happened also within the GM series of Mega House that they will release Warcraymon and Metal Garurumon soon. Better, this is good or not and should have been about that you can certainly argue because the tastes are known to be different. Personally, I would like to have more Digimon characters for the GM series that they have never released in such a form than Warcraymon or Metal Garurumon. But no matter, they both look really good, no question. What the new name Precious GM series actually should mean, I don't figure it out for myself until yet. But I think they probably relate this to the enormous size you can guess in the official product images and the two will probably be as big as GM Kramon, who hold the size record until yet. It is also unclear to me why in comparison to the other GM Digimon figures, Warcraymon and Metal Garurumon have to be so oversized. I think this immense size has been chosen to big for these two in compare to the size ratio of the other GM Digimon. Neither Warcraymon nor Metal Garurumon in my opinion should have to be big as said GM Greymon and realistically 
they should be a lot smaller and stockier than Greymon. But probably that's because of the new name of Precious GM Series. And since they would perhaps represent something special by this particular name. Well, who knows, but it's a bit strange to lease within a figure series yet, let's say, kind of bring out another sub-series, I think you will understand what I will say with that. But now we finally know that they all also continue the GM series in the Digimon range. I was almost afraid that they would not continue because I thought that Warcraymon and Metal Garumon could be a little unpopular because of the very very high prices because of in my opinion their unnecessary oversize. And so that Mega House could have mis miscalculated in that somehow. After all our German shops really take the cake with the immense prices they offer for those both. That's why I had thought of this unpopularity and since Mega House has been in the last two years almost overturning with announcements and releases of new Digimon GM series figures, it was a bit strange that they announced this Warcraymon and Metal Garurumon at the end of last year after them followed no further new announcements until now. And here we coming back again to the new precious GM series Angel Woman Holy Error version. Since she will be also released under this precious GM series name I hope not that she is also so oversized like Warcraymon and Metal Garurumon. So the unpainted prototype of her here in the picture looks compared to her arch enemy GM Lady Devimon very unrealistically tall. But I think that she will still be compared to precious GM Wargraymon and Metal Garumon, hopefully something smaller. Incidentally, this new version of Angel Woman can already be pre-ordered and is expected to be released in January. 2019 in Japan. That there is again a new version of Angel Woman is also not so bad because for the ones which had to suffer under the ban of the other GM Angel Woman and Hikari figure and because of this Holy Arrow version has been implemented absolutely cool and deserves the name to 100%. However, by looking at the official product images of her, it does not look like she's coming with a new version of Hikari. Because in contrary, Warcraymon also returns with a new Taichi and Yamato rides on Metal Garurumon's back. Out of this, it looks like there are two different versions of her. One got named Deluxe Edition. This one comes with a LED lighting up function in the base. The normal edition comes, I think, with the base without lighting up function or maybe also without this impressive base too and maybe only with such a familiar, simpler base made of plastic. I have already pre-ordered her at the Nippon Yasan shop for a kind of still reasonable price. The item price for her there is just under 150 US dollars. Probably I have pre-ordered the normal edition because at Nippon Yasan there was no offer for this deluxe edition at least. In the product images at Nippon Yasan the deluxe base is not shown. And I honestly did not know it before. And I only accidentally saw it because of the image research for this update video that there will be another deluxe edition of her. Additional too. Funny, isn't it? In any case, I can only advise you to pre-order her in Japan because I think that this new version of Angel Woman will again fall victim to such a stupid sales ban by idiotic 
American licenses outside of Japan and Asia. Furthermore, there are these pictures of an entrance area where you can see a new oversized replica of the Choshinka Tamashi figure of Angel Woman opposite with the oversized old known big war Cremon replica. This Angel Woman could almost be life size. There is also a picture where you can see probably in the inner area even such a big replica of Digivolving Spirit's Metal Garurumon. Furthermore, a picture of other displays. And even this cool promotional thing is somewhere. Guess it is placed in a Japanese subway station. And already there was a new livestream where among other things they did made following officially. So like the old Super Evolution series War Greymon, there is going to be a repaint figure of the new one as Black War Greymon. And as you can see, it's going to be a Bandai Collector's Shop exclusive figure. And as you can see, they showed Joshinka Tamashi Black War Greymon in both evolution forms during this live stream. Well, that there is going to be a new Black War Greymon released within the Digivolving Spirit series is not so surprising of Bandai because Bandai loves to do repaints and there is also an old Digivolving Black Agumon Black War Greymon figure much more. It has been a matter of time when it will happen and when Bandai will make this officially. By the way, they also launched the detailed update on the official promotion page of Tamashi for this Black War Greymon figure. But I will not comment on this update in this information video because meanwhile this update about Padamon Holy Angelmon is already hardly an update anymore because I had not found the time to create it. That's why I am late with Padamon Holy Angelmon already and that's why I did not want to take Black War Greymon's update in here as extra time would be wasted on doing so. Out of this I had also a bad voice because I had a slight cold. And with these pictures now ends my 10th update video. As always I hope I could tell you some new and interesting facts about Tamashi's official promotion page and this time there was plenty of general information too. I would like to thank you for your attention and saying bye and stay tuned for such further updates from me. See you, your Mega88-1000.